This is the Zero Noise, the Minix Neo Z100 Zero DB. This is a heavy mini PC. It's Windows 11 Pro, legit copy. Intel N100, NVMe drive, dual band Wi-Fi, completely fanless design. That's another super huge use case of these mini PCs. Now it is gonna have a warning here that there could be some you know heat coming out of this. In my test, this thing is very well thermally regulated. It's got a lot of uh, weight to it. It does have a lot of I.O., a lot more I.O. options than the other one here. Very similar ones you can see. Um, and when it comes to video, this is where this one shines. You are going to have so much video options on this one. So very neat option. This one is going to be three amps at 12 volts, so 36 watts of power. Now what's interesting is this has essentially the same basic specs as the other one. 16 gigs of RAM, so we doubled the memory on here, and a 512 M.2 upgradable to four terabytes max. It's gonna have uh, a uh, one M.2 PCI Express three by four M key slot on it. It has two and a half gig ethernet, two HDMI outputs and two digital audio outputs. Uh, it's got a plenty of USB ports here and it does it all in 36 watts. Now Cinebench, I've left this, the results up here and I wanna show them to you real quick. This one you can see here, 2639. So this is 35% faster than the Azul. But guess what, this thing weighs about five times as much, bigger power draw, and you know it's got really nice Wi-Fi antennas. It's gonna have that Wi-Fi 6 antennas on here. It does have Visa mounting, so it mounts on the back of a monitor, which is really slick. This is the 512 NVMe. Got a read rate of about 1800, so that tells me it's like that three by four. A lot of the more economical NVMe's are gonna be in that 1800 range. We'll see what the write is. If the write's close to that, that's great. They are gonna come down a little bit more as you start to get the more random uh, reads those will start to slow down here, but it, an NVMe is an NVMe, right? If, if you offered me this versus a SATA drive like I have in that HP uh, G3 Elite Desk, uh, it's only going to get 500 at best, and so this is definitely better. So 1589, and I'm not uh, making this a, a real performance test. I didn't shut down Defender, I didn't shut down uh, OneDrive, and all the other things that consume. Uh, resources on the machine. So didn't do any of that. You're seeing the raw native numbers here. I didn't do the single core test on this, but uh, just judging by the 35% bump here, 2639, it's already doing much, much better. And so there, in doing this test, I think this thing got maybe 100 degrees. This is actually uh, probably, like I said, a really good router machine. You could again run Steam if you want to run your Steam library. This, uh, because it's not throttled at all, and it does have the 4K video support, multiple displays and multiple display outputs. This could be a really interesting, just kind of a terminal machine. A Linux would just roast on this thing. It would be awesome. And you'd have that full bandwidth of the 2.5 uh, gigabits. So that's pretty cool. 